Good morning. Today's story is called Mr Big and it's by Ed Veer. Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine. He goes by the name of Big, Mr Big. Now Mr Big had a small problem. Compared to everyone else, he was extremely big. He was so big that anywhere he went, all everyone saw was someone big and scary. No one stuck around to find out what he, who he really was. So inside, Mr Big felt very, very small. And that's how it always was. When Mr Big went to the cafe, everyone else had other things to do. When Mr Big got on the bus, everyone else got off. And when he went to the pool, well, let's just say, Everyone needed to be somewhere else. No one ever saw the real Mr Big. One day, Mr Big noticed a piano in a shop window. It looked all alone, just like him. So he bought it and took it home. As Mr Big sat alone at the piano, he thought of all the things that made him sad. And then he played. His music drifted out through the open window and into the evening sky. It drifted across the rooftops over to his neighbours and they wondered who was playing such beautiful music. The word spread and night after night everyone came from all over town and still no one knew who was playing. It was a big mystery. But inside, Mr. Big was still alone. And then, one morning, Mr. Big received his first ever letter. It says, The Pianist. It was an invitation, and it said, Dear Mystery Pianist, thank you for your beautiful music. Everyone's been listening to you for weeks and we're all wondering one thing. Who are you? We'd love to meet you. Me and a couple of the guys are playing tonight at the Blue Note. Please come and join our band. See you later, a friend. That night, Mr Big joined the band. All night long, the joint was jumping and nobody wanted to leave. At last, everyone could see the real Mr Big. He says, let's hear it for Mr Big. Now that the big band has hit the big time and everyone wants to meet them, Mr. Big has a new problem. He doesn't get much time to be alone. And that's just the way he likes it. Here he goes, driving off on in his big car. The end. <laughs>